Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Welcome to Leo's Tech Channel. If you are new here, welcome, and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Yes, today we're gonna discuss about one of the very very important topic, which is called types of data backups. It's very very important for every single technical person, whether you work in the network section or in the system section. The mechanism or the structure is same. Let's talk about and dive into this topic with more details. So overall, we have one, two, three, four types of backup. How many types of backup we have? Precisely, four types of backup. The first types of backup we call full backup. What is full backup? If you want to take a backup of the file and you don't want to miss, uh, we can say, a tiny data, you better to do what? You better to get the full backup. Now, it's a bit challenge between differential backup and incremental backup to know what is differential backup, what is incremental backup. So let's dive into this topic with a little bit with more information. So we have a differential backup, or we can see the second types of backup is differential backup, means backup changes since last full backup. Let me give you a scenario in here. If you take a backup, for example, one TB data, you have a backup, that is one TB data. And recently you heard that there is another project working on something, so for example, the owner or the IT director or whoever send you an email and ask you like, hey, you know, we have to make sure that we have the all backup of the new projects as well. So in this case, since the new project is also using the same, for example, a storage or we can say a file server, in here you will get confused because if you take a full backup, means you have already one TB full backup and you may need to get another backup of full backup means you probably need to have a 2 TB hard drive in order to backup the other files as well so that is why we have a differential backup means you should no worry you just move on and take the differential backup in a stage of full backup now for example they probably used or for example 100 giga of storage so you probably go through the differential backup so in this case you save a lot of storage and you don't have to double the full backup this is the main purpose of what differential backup in here we have a incremental backup one of the most, or we can say daily basis used backup is incremental backup. Means backup all changes since last full differential or incremental backup. Now, if you have a differential backup, so you have the differential backup, the same scenario with differential backup, if you took the another backup, for example, now it is one TB or plus one, you can say 100 gigabytes. So in this case, if you want to take a backup of differential backup, because you don't want to get like a full backup or differential backup, you need an incremental backup. What is recent change? What is recent change? Anything is new. For example, the project's working on some files. They are removed, delete everything. The backing system will take everything, but anything is new. Incremental backup is also, we can call the partial backup. So anything is remain or whatever is new. The incremental backup is trying to see what is new. It matched the, for example, the, the, the bookshelf. If everything is same, it does not add anything. If they see that there is a new book or there is a new file, they grab it and put it in the shelf. This is the main purpose of incremental backup. We have the last but not least, probably it's not a shocking, but it's the most recent types of backup is we can call snapshot. It is mostly and we are using in the virtual environment or we can say in a cloud environment because it's it is designed for 
virtual environment. For example, we have a VM, we have a virtual box, we have a Microsoft Azure, we have a AWS or Citrix company who provide local and cloud storage or cloud, uh, we can say virtual environment, we are using snapshot. For example, if you are using AWS or if you're using Microsoft Azure and you set up a server and you know that server is ready to go, before you run that server, one of the smart moves that you have to do is to do what? To take a backup of that server. Who knows what's going to happen in the future if anything happened with that server, file craps or any missing or hacking or so on. And the one of the most known, uh, we can say, virus is, we can say ransomware is infected with the cloud. Probably some of you would say, what do you mean in the cloud as well? Of course, it is not. It is possible. 100% it's possible. 100%. And uh, yeah, so you have a snapshot. You just remove the server and turn on the snapshot. It is same, it's a matter of that server. And you are good to go. You save your job. You save your company data and so on. So uh, in here, I have a picture of uh, like we can see the traditional types of backup. So we have in every company, whether it's a small, medium, large or enterprise company, they have a backup servers and they have a file server as well. File server is, for example, uh, this is your computer and you have a one folder under your name and the IT company, the IT department say that, hey, there is a folder under your name try to make sure to save uh, and modify whatever you want to do at the end of the day save all your data on that folder because that is the most important folder for us because we have our eyes on that folder and we can take a backup of that files as well so you're so happy and you say oh wow that's it in case if i lose anything that is a chance where i can what where i can where I can request to recover if I miss any file. That is true. That's why the IT department, in case if you lose or miss or delete or shift delete or so on your file, if you send an email to IT department, they immediately restore your file from the file server or we can say from backup server. So when it comes to the IT department, that is why we have a three types of backup. And we have a full backup. We have to take a full backup of data and we have a differential backup and we have incremental backup and snapshot is different thing. Snapshot is not in a traditional types of backup. So the last but not least, one of the, uh, like we can say daily basis word that most of the technical people, they said, oh, it's on promise uh, or we can say cloud design. So on promise, uh, as a traditional types of backuping and cloud design is something if you want to store in the cloud environment. Okay, guys, I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, what are you waiting for? Guys, subscribe my channel, like the video that you like, and until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you guys next time.